welcome to our new YouTube channel. Uh, the last house flip I had posted on Facebook and only friends and family could see that. And I got a lot of calls of that people asking me how I did certain things or how my dad or Denise did something. And they said, why don't you make um, some TikToks and YouTube video? So we're gonna show you a lot of the struggles that we have, the timing of things, and just reveal as much as we can to you because what I noticed after watching a lot of DIY shows is they'll do a walkthrough with you. They'll show someone doing something, hammering a nail, doing something. And then the, the rest of it is basically a walkthrough and the reveal. And you don't get to see all the struggles that we actually go through. So we hope as we do some of these short reels and go through this series of three months of a house flip, you learn something from it, I would hope. Uh, but then I also get to share all this with all of you and my friends and family and those that may be watching now and we really hope you do learn something and save some time from from our mistakes but we're here in harbert michigan about an hour or so east of chicago three blocks from lake michigan in a wonderful million dollar neighborhood this is a house we bought for 525 and we hope we can get 8 850 for it we'll see um, our budget's about 70000 and we're going to do a lot of the work that we can. Uh, I did film this two weeks ago on day one. Today is week three, day one. There's been a, a lot of learnings, and I wanted to come back and, and share this opening with you. So I do have different clothes on, and I'm a lot dirtier than I was before I got in this house. And the things that we actually learned and the things that we didn't know from a home inspection. Inside we have my aunt Denise and our two Shebas and my dad comes and goes and helps out when he can So we're gonna go in and you'll get to meet Denise and the dogs All right on the front porch. Let's go on in and meet everyone All righty, here's aunt Denise and Kona and Cruz, and Cruz. Say hi our, our two little helpers <laughs> All right, when we walk in the house, there's this closet right away, and Aunt Denise has an idea what she wants to do with this. So, actually, most people have these big closets, and when you first come in the house, they're coat closets, but all they get done is filled up with junk. So, my whole thinking is to remove the doors, and we're going to make this as very much like a mudroom. So we're yep. going to have a bench here, a place to put their coats, a place to put their shoes, belts, and anything else that they might need for the family, or if this is turned into an Airbnb, yeah. that's for that as well. All right. Ann Kona is telling us what she wants yeah. to do. Kona wants to put her two cents in. <laughs> She's camera shy. All right, from there, we're going to move into the kitchen next, and Anthony's going to tell us her thoughts here. Okay. So the kitchen, of course, we're gonna have the same flooring throughout the whole house. Make it nice and, um, I can't think of the word, but <laughs> anyways. Beachy. <laughs> Beachy. So the cabinets will be replaced. Um, we're gonna go with a, a little bit darker blue cabinet possibly. Uh, the dishwasher, of course, has to be replaced as well and um, just to update the whole kitchen. This peninsula takes up a lot of room, so we are going to remove the peninsula. Since everybody hates having a microwave on a countertop, we're gonna put the microwave inside one of the cabinets. I'm gonna come around and get a different view to see it from the living room. So we do have a dining room we'll get into next, but we're gonna give you a view of the kitchen from this dining room. And again, the flooring to the dining room, all the rooms will be nice and cohesive. That's the word I was trying to think of. And uh, so it'll be the same. Throughout so the now that I have this view, this peninsula is where you want to put the coffee bar. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So this will be just reverse this direction and the coffee bar. Uh, at that time, we'll determine if we want to pull out the top and make it longer so that there is bar seating available. Um, but our plans right now is just 
to have a regular cabinet there since the dining area is right here as well. All right, and we did go by Lowe's and they're trying to do a draw out for us, a schematic and get some general pricing for the new cabinets and then we'll turn them ourselves. And then in the dining room, we're gonna add some can lights and we're gonna re relocate this chandelier, put a new uh, fixture in. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you really can't see, well, in this video, you can see the ceiling, but also on the walls, it has plaster. So we have a, a drywall specialist and to give us a quote to take out anything that has plaster, just so it's a nice clean look. Okay, so to, just to show you the layout, we, do, we walked in, we have the kitchen, I'm standing in the dining area, and we're walking into this family room that leads onto a three season porch in the backyard. So what are we doing in here, Denise? In the dining room and in, the, in this family room, they right now have the wainscoting. We're gonna remove the wainscoting and we will do a board and batten instead. And the, this room, I'd like to paint the fireplace, maybe a whitewash. Um, our plans are to add a bar with a wine cooler or a chiller underneath so that it's easy access when they're going in and out to the sunroom as well. And then uh, just put some floating shelves, get the room painted, and um, we replace have, the light fixture. We have a few cracked windows around that we also have to replace. Um, and as you can see, the fence in the backyard, if I scoot down, there's a few spots on it that are broke. We have to repair that. And then we have the three season room. It's not too bad. We need to replace it with some outdoor carpet. Um, we need to paint the entire thing mm -hmm. and add a new ceiling fan because it's, um, it's, a, it's a bit outdated. And we have to lift up the corner, at which is sagging. We have to uh, jack that up. All right, we're gonna move on into the bedrooms. Okay, now coming in from the front door, if you turn to the right, that's where all the bedrooms are. There's three of them with one full bath. And they're all they're all gonna be about the same amount of work. They all need new flooring, although as you can see straight ahead of me, behind Aunt Denise, there's no flooring. Yeah. But in one room where the Shebas are is carpet. So we're gonna rip that out and the whole house is gonna have the same flooring. Um, and oh, all right, I'm standing in one of the first rooms and in this hallway is a full bath and we really don't have to do much in here because they've mostly renovated it. Uh, really, all we're gonna do in this room is put a glass shower door and what the else? Ceiling fan. Oh, and the ceiling fan. Let me turn this turbo fan on here. <laughs> like it's gonna take off like a rocket ship. I'm sure it works well, but um, we need it to be a little quieter. All right, and the last room in the house, if you turn right from the kitchen, is a pretty nice sized family room. Uh, they ripped the flooring out in here too. Um, so, Anthony's is gonna come tell us what she's gonna do to this ugly wall here. Yeah. Uh, uh, my whole thought with this wall is I'm going to see if it's a faux uh, stone, which I think it is. If so, it's gonna be ripped down. But in any case, we're going to do the whole wall in a board and batten so it would be very co cohesive going from this family room into the rest of the rooms. Um, the color of the wall will probably coordinate very much with the kitchen cabinet colors. And another broken window we have over here in the corner that we're going to have to replace. Um, and again, all the floorboard heating is going to come out and it's going to be uh, the HVAC and it's going to be one unit. So yeah, we'll have to do some drywall repair and it's going to get all new floor molding also. All right.